Okay, drone here. This is the 010, and that's his controller. Well, we're gonna get rid of uh, that there, and we're gonna fly it with, bam! Yes, sir, we're gonna fly it with the jumper. I already have it bound. I will go over a binding procedure for this and for every single quad that I have that I bind to this. It is really simple to do. But uh, because it's already bound to it, I should. And I only have this one model programmed. I did it last night before I went to sleep. Um, I should be able to just plug this in. Which we're going to do here. Which always on camera takes like extra time to plug stuff in. And plug this in. We're going to turn that on. As you can see. Stop there, and uh, we should be good to go here. So we're just going to go up. Hold on. Need to go up faster, I guess. Yep. Going up too slow. There's a little look at the all right. It's extremely responsive now. Again, so there's no trickery here. Woo! This is what I'm using. I'm using the jumper. And if you're if you're not familiar with the jumper, the jumper is a multi-protocol uh, controller that's preset, ready to go, out of the box. All you got to do is um, hold on, trying to do some funnels. Um, all you have to do is program it. It should program the majority of what's in this room, which would be nice. Because then I don't got to go find controllers. Uh, then I don't got to put batteries in 101 different things. This controller actually takes a LiPo battery. Woo! And uh, this drone does not have great... Doesn't have great, uh, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Um, recovery time. That's why I actually got the E011. Because that had better recovery time. And that's actually sitting right down there. But I bound this first. So we're going to go up again. And again, we've done uh, prop mods with this drone. We could probably put a dual prop on it. Or uh, get some tiny six props on it. And it might do a little bit better. But again, the whole reason for this uh, video here is to show you that the jumper will bind to this, which I'm sure other people have, but I'm sure some of you guys aren't watching other people and you're just watching me. So uh, hopefully for the guys that are just watching me, I'm showing you something that you're going to be able to use, and you're going to be able to pick up. I uh, will have a link down below. I do believe uh, I have a link. I think I also have a code for this so you can get a little bit cheaper. And with this, you can also control and adjust your controls. You can adjust uh, your pitch rate and whatnot um, to an extent. Like your aileron, you can increase. You can increase all types of stuff that you can't do with that small controller that I just showed you. Yeah, this is gonna make fun for FPV flying because I have more control of this. A lot more control of this. I barely have to move my uh, right stick to make a pitch forward. And I mean, we'll try to go full throttle. Bam. <laughs> And again, your recovery time is not great on this drone. Maybe if uh, maybe if the camera was centered on the body, it might work a little bit better. So it's like a really chill flight drone. And you can see it's kind of, I, I could probably adjust the pitch backwards on this because it is leaning forward just a little bit, probably because of that, the added weight on it. And we might be losing power here. Just trying to get this in a nice place. Nope. Nope. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. So there you go, guys. That was a quick flight with uh, the jumper and this uh, this drone here. And what did we get? We had like almost a four-minute flight. Not bad. Um... I'm not happy with the flight times on these. There's a couple different things you can do. But all right, guys, I'm J-Drone. T-A-S-G Jumper on the 010. Take care.